I'm like, ask me what I'm tired about. What are you tired about? I'm tired of beating ourselves. I'm tired of going down, um, how do they say it, your own hand? How, what's the phrase? Help me. You guys are media people. You talk all the time. By your own sword? Or? By your own sword, by your own hand. Um, Self-inflicted wounds. Um, uh, I am so tired of this that I I'm going to tell our guys to today, you better either fix this or the season's going to end and it's going to end in a hurry. And, uh, um, and the only ones that you're going to have to blame is yourself because we're plenty enough, uh, we're plenty good enough to beat anybody, but we're not good enough to overcome our opponents. The margin of error is so thin. We're not, we're not good enough to be able to overcome our opponents and ourselves. It's as simple as that. And um, uh, either, either we fix it uh, and we fix it in a hurry or it's going to come to an end in a hurry. Do you see a little – because Holy Cross is a team that can maybe make you pay for that kind of stuff, maybe more than some of the previous opponents. So did you see a little bit from your team of realizing, like, I know – Coach Saratori's been telling me we got to stop beating ourselves, but now the this team and the next two that we have are teams that will absolutely make us pay. 100% cough. I mean, we went out and did what we what we had. Uh, 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 we we um, our guys. Um, they, they they we had a game plan, and uh, and and we went out and. Uh, um, and uh, I'm losing my train of thought here now because I'm so, you know. Um, but uh, uh, we executed the game plan. Uh, executed. I can't, like, how old am I getting where I can't remember execute? I mean, like, are you kidding? Maybe because we executed ourselves. Like, I don't know. Um, but uh, we went out and executed the game plan. Uh, a place that's been a thorn in our side. We haven't won there since... Andy Berg was a player, I think. Like it's, it seems that long, anyway. And uh, uh, but we went out and we mounted a three-to-one lead, and and we're taking it to them. We're taking it to them. They score one late in the first. It's three-two. We go in the second period. The game kind of settles, and and like we're tilting the ice. We're slanting the ice, and uh, and then what happens? We take a very avoidable. Uh, Careless, reckless, and selfish penalty. Luke Rowe is not a selfish guy, but he took a, a selfish, careless, reckless penalty. Then we we couple that with a too many men on the ice. We get them at the same time. Only Air Force, only Air Force can do this. Actually, I'm talking to Brian Riley this morning. Only Air Force and Army can do this to themselves. You know, they get those two penalties at the same time. So now all of a sudden, Holy Cross has got no. They're going nowhere. They're losing. They got no traction. And did they earn? Did they earn that opportunity? No, we gave them that opportunity. And what do good teams do? As you just said, Koff, they're the type of team, they got some handy guys. When you put those five guys on the ice, they're five handiest guys, and you give them a five on three for a full two minutes, and then, oh, by the way, three, full, three free ones, three three free minutes at the end uh, of, uh, of that, of that five-minute major, what do they do? They tie it. Uh, I, we get through it with only one goal against, but, you know, we lose Rowe. All the energy that we've got to uh, exert to get through that mental and physical energy, all on our best guys. And, uh, and even at that, we get through that and we get down and they score the winning goal with like five minutes left. It's a tie game. But, uh, you know, did they... Did they beat us, or did we beat them? Did we beat ourselves? And then, so then we go into Saturday, going like we're looking at these play these series every weekend. Like these are, in for all intents and purposes, these are playoff series for us. We're taking them as playoff series because I don't want to get into the playoffs and go all of a sudden things are different now. We're in the playoffs. No, I want that playoff mentality right now because we're jockeying for playoff spots. So we're going into it. So then we go into Saturday, and. Uh, Okay, it's do or die. Like today, put it in your brain that we either win today or it's your last game together. The season is over. 
and uh, we go out and uh, we lose a hard-fought game, one where, again, took a couple of avoidable, not selfish penalties, but a couple of avoidable, careless penalties at the wrong time, and, and uh, they capitalize on one. Uh, the score is tied late in the second period. We take an avoidable penalty. They score in the last minute, and, uh, uh, you know, we score again in the third, but, again, they come back and, and, uh, and win. But anyway, bottom line is we lose the series. Our season's over. But, you know, the elimination game on Saturday, how we set the whole thing up, it should have been their elimination game. We should have won on Friday. We had it all going. We beat ourselves. If, the, if we don't give them that five-minute major, that five-on-three for a full two minutes, and the five-minute major, it's highly, highly unlikely that we lose that game. Hey, do you know how many series, Atlantic series, uh, we've been swept? Zero. How many tall? Zero. One. Holy Cross. Yeah. Okay. How many, how many uh, have we swept our opponent? Two. How many have been splits? Five. Five of them. So what's that tell you when we get into a quarterfinal or a semifinal series? Chances are what's going to happen? There are going to be three games. Chances are, if, if everybody does what they're supposed to do, should have been three games. And, okay, we go into a place that, that we – it's been the most difficult place, other than Magnus Arena, it's been the most difficult place for us to win in the last 10 years. We go in there, and, and we execute, and, and uh, we, we die in the, in the first game due to self-inflicted wounds. It's a game we should have won. Um, again, like – we overcome that. We win that game. Now it's an elimination game for Holy Cross. And at the very worst, we should have been going into the third period of that elimination game in their building where they're feeling it, where they're feeling the pressure. We should have been, it should have been tied going into that third period. Okay? If they win the game, we go to game three. That's, that's the way it's probably going to be anyway. But, like, uh, no. Uh, this, this group – has got to figure some things out. Uh, we've got to be, yeah, we got to tidy some things up defensively and this and that. We're going we're gonna to touch on those. The other thing is good teams don't give up goals in the first or last minute of a period. Just That's, that's as old as hockey as you did. Hey, we put people, we start people for a reason to give us a good start. We, we finish with people in the last minute of each period or last minute of a game because, like, they have a responsibility. They have a responsibility to make sure that bad doesn't happen. And we had, in the six periods, we, had, we were scored. We gave up goals in the last minute in four of the six periods. Now, but two of them were empty netters. Well, let's take the empty netters out of it. But we, we gave up two in the last minute of, of six of them, and oh, by the way, they had a guy in the second period of, of uh, game two, the guy had, had one on the doorstep uh, with, with eight seconds left and either missed the net or blessing made the save. Good teams don't do that. Um, no, there's certain things. You know what? My little speech, and this is like I love coming and doing this with you guys because this is my warm-up for this afternoon. Like, you know, but the, the bottom line, just like life, just like life, like, it, it, no, to win, to win, you have to deserve to win. And there wasn't enough on, on our side of the ledger. Hey, okay, Holy Cross, we didn't deserve to win. Holy Cross did. What did they do? How many five-minute majors did they take? How many too many men on the ice penalty did they take? How many goals did they let uh, give up in the first or last minute of the periods? Did they do a pretty good job of protecting the good ice in their zone? They do a pretty good job of covering. What did they do wrong? What did they do wrong? They only did one thing wrong, and only one man can answer that question, and I don't think you have the answer. They only did one thing wrong. What was it? They let Air Force jump them in the first period of the first game, and that should have costed them that game and, and very well should have costed them the series. But we didn't take advantage of that. We let them off the hook. Uh, by being careless, undisciplined. I don't want to use the word selfish because we're not, we don't have selfish players. But uh, no, was it Holy Cross or was it Air Force? Like, you know, who was the nemesis? Who was the nemesis? I really believe that 
when it's all said and done, if we, it, you, you know what I told the boys at the end of the game? You're going to finish where you deserve to finish. You're going to finish where you deserve to finish, you know? And um, you better right the ship if you want to deserve to finish in a good place. And I, I really believe that uh, the only team in this league that can truly eliminate the Air Force Falcons is the Air Force Falcons. That's what I believe. Until somebody comes up and pins our ears back and shows us that they're just plain flat out better than us, I ain't buying that. No, we control it, and, uh, and uh, we got six games left. They better figure it out, and they better figure it out in a hurry. You need anything, Mark? It's a lot of questions you've asked us. Huh? You've asked us a lot of questions. Yeah. 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 You, you got something. Go right after that. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you've talked about avoidable penalties uh, in the past, uh, getting five-minute majors out of the game. Luke Rowe is responsible for a few of those. He is your captain. I know you have your message for the team as a whole, but um, on an individual basis, person to person, to your captain, what's that message like? We had a, we, uh, I had an individual meeting with him. Uh, Joe and I and Josh had an individual meeting with him uh, on, on, on Saturday morning. And the thing with Luke's penalties – most of them have been aggressive, overt, finishing checks type of thing. This one, he just lost his composure and scrambled a guy's eggs. Like you can't, like you, like you just can't do that. I mean, that's undisciplined, and uh, um, it's avo not only is it avoidable and controllable, it's, it was totally undisciplined and unlike, it was unlike any of the other penalties that he's taken. Interesting enough, you know, and as coaches, like. You walk that fine line, and uh, you walk that fine line, and you know, I guess I put it this way, Hugh, and I'm letting you guys in under the hood, big time. This is our world, you know. Luke Rowe took that penalty and played on Saturday. How many guys in that locker room, if they'd have taken that penalty, would have been very concerned about not being in the lineup on Saturday night? penalty that cost us a game huh now Luke's a special guy he's here he's not even going to school he's given it all for Air Force hockey he's got some money in the bank but huh compare and contrast Brian Riley calls me this morning Brian and I like brothers we talk all the time I know football basketball they know they know they, they don't want anything to do with each other but hockey little different Riles and I we gone through the ranks together and and uh, he we're, we're sharing each other's games and he goes I'm telling him our story and he goes God you should he goes I go you guys figured it out you found a way to beat Bentley on Saturday good for you yeah he goes didn't start out very good we're going to the pregame meal and one of our captains and our best freshman forward bus leaves at 11:30. at 11 29 everybody here you know everybody's here except for this guy and this guy well the bus is rolling at 11 30 bus rolls 11 30 all of a sudden, the, he said the boys are giggling in the back of the bus. The two guys are running, chasing the bus. He said we stopped and we picked them up. And, uh, and he goes, I had to eat lunch thinking about that one. After lunch, I met with both of them, and I said, you know, what time did the bus leave? Was the bus leaving? 11.30. What time were you guys here? 11.31. And they had some reason why that didn't really matter because everybody else was on the bus. Guess who didn't play? against Bentley on Saturday night. Their captain and their best freshman forward. And oh, by the way, Army wins two to one, you know? Well, we lost on Saturday with him, with Luke. And God, I'm, and I, again, I don't regret the decision we made for all the right reasons, but we could have lost just as easily without him, you know? And that's what we face all the time. As coaches, that balancing, what's the right thing to do? Uh, what's the right message to send? Do, 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 do you know what I mean? And uh, I'd say that, I'd say that uh, we've pretty much exhausted our – if we started out the season with a pocket full of mulligans, I think the mulligans are, have all been used, have all been used. And uh, no – Something needs to change, and we've talked about it from, for a long time, but it 
but it needs to change and it needs to change now. You mentioned um, the fact that you guys hadn't been swept uh, by an AHA team this season. Talk to me about that as a point of pride um, prior to the uh, series against Holy Cross. No team had beaten you, uh, no singular team had beaten you both nights of the weekend. Talk to me about that. I just think it shows to how tight things are and how thin the margin of error is. You know, how competitive our league is from top to bottom. And, um, yeah, I, I, I'm not so sure that, again, these series, is, I'm not so sure that, like, hey, the, the game's against AIC. We deserve to win on Friday. They deserve to win on Saturday. Canisius, we deserve to win on Friday by a country mile. They deserve to win on Saturday. That's just the way it was, you know. And uh, I think that's the way it's going to be. And I think, you know, when we get into the playoffs, the teams that make it to the quarter and semifinals, I would be shocked if you're not looking at a lot of game threes. I just am. So, like, I don't know if it's a point of pride. I think it's a matter of just doing what you should be doing and what you're supposed to be doing. But the bottom line is, you know, the anatomy of a good weekend gone bad all started at Holy Cross with that first period. You know, like I said, we're simulating an elimination game for us on Saturday. It shouldn't have been our elimination game. It should have been their elimination game. And either we figure this out and we spin it uh, in our favor or um, we're going to be – we're going to be chasing score, the scoreboard in games, and uh, and we're going to be chasing games uh, in a series eventually. And uh, generally, generally, can you pull those things off? But if you do it with too much regulate, regula- uh, too much uh, with uh, what am I looking for? Regularity. Thank you. See, you guys like you, you guys that write stuff. You know, I have all the words, and I'm just old, and I can't. Bring. But those that that do that with regularity, generally, there's not a happy ending to the story. Right? Generally, you can do it. You can get away with it every once in a while. But if you, but if you make a habit of that, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Bada, bada, bang. Right? I don't have anything left. I'm all, I'm all used up. All right. Now, you know what? You're the only one I'm answering the question for okay. right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm just curious because obviously we see and hear your frustration. Are you sensing and also seeing and hearing the same kind of frustration from your guys? I hope to after our meeting today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I hope I hope that, and I think they are, they're the kind of men that are going to look at it and not go, you know, this guy's just being a big, like, uh, like uh, you know what? Yeah, you know, and you know what? We have come a long ways, and we are close. But the difference, how do we spin those one-goal losses into one goal wins. Though the only way I can think of is to eliminate, control the things we can control and eliminate the self-inflicted wounds.